Welcome to another episode of Coffee and Whiskey with Ivy. Another interesting week has passed by and I will share with you the top picks that I have picked out to talk about. Hong Kong government vows to respect results of polls listened to public. So the people of Hong Kong have voted. I believe people all over the world are basically the same. They all want to live, work and enjoy their life without being tortured. They want to feel safe and protected by their country and more importantly, the leaders of their country who are honest. I am sure Singaporeans also have the basic needs in life. So if we have good, honest and kind leaders who actually look after their people, we will also vote wisely. As this is an important topic for Singaporeans too, the poll question is based on this topic. Do you agree that Singaporeans will vote for leaders who are honest, good and kind to the people? Yes, why and no, why? Go to the link to cast your vote. Thank you very much for your help. And now the results of last week's poll question. What is the biggest cause of poverty in Singapore? 50% voted to say that it is due to the inadequate pay for work done. Insufficient CPF for retirement, 4.5% voted for that. And other unknown reasons is 45.5%. And for the other unknown reasons, there are some of the reasons they gave. Expensive items like rental, housing, which result in money not enough. Pay is never adjusted to include inflation. The government has been promoting third world salary into our first world country such that employers will adopt that mindset to their own benefit with the support of our tripartite system. And the last one said, society doesn't owe you a living, people must be focused and help themselves to get out of their mess. The next question, what do you think the government can do to help the low income and disadvantage in our society? The suggestions were set mandatory minimum wage and salary, have a median family income, disadvantage monthly grocery vouchers of $400 to $600 per family, give more of childcare, education, transport, medical and housing subsidies, make it easy for them to apply for these benefits and give incentives to companies who hire disadvantaged people. All very good suggestions. As always, thank you very much for taking the time and the trouble to respond to our questions. Job clustering project to start next year. Very good idea, but I would suggest you go one step more. I'll give you an example. My driver who is 40 years old, Singaporean with five children, earns $4,000 a month. Why? Because if I don't pay him that kind of salary, he will not be able to bring up his family with dignity. But he not only drives me, he cleans the car, and whenever I'm not out, he will help in the restaurant, he will carry dishes, he will take orders. In fact, he's a great multitasker. So I'm suggesting that instead of just telling people in one industry to multitask for that industry, you must train a person who can do many, many jobs because anything that a monkey can do or a machine can do, your boss will replace you with a monkey and a machine. But if you are a multitasking monkey or if you are like a machine that can do many things, you will never be unemployed. In fact, you will earn very good hourly rates. URA actually make tweaks to the dementia village tender so that more bidders will take up the challenge to build this very good idea of a dementia village. This dementia village 
will be a gated area where all the older people who have dementia can actually wander about freely, but they will have one room for themselves so that they have privacy. It is much better than being in a nursing home because this dementia village will be run by somebody very colourful like me and I'll be there to entertain them until they pass away peacefully and go to paradise. Another big story about waste wars and how much waste and plastic bags etc. First, let's get down to something very basic. Why do we have this low level of recycling? In fact, even now, when I take the trouble to recycle and put in all these bins that Sam Waste brings along, when the guy comes and collects it, he puts it all together again. And this constant noise about plastic bag, look, 90% of Singaporeans live in HDB flat or condominiums, etc. So how would you throw rubbish into the rubbish chute? You want them to pour it down? They will have to use plastic bags, but all the plastic bags are incinerated in our fantastic incinerators. Go look at your hawker centres, go look at your air-conditioned food courts. The ladies are throwing the cans, everything into the same bin because nobody seriously recycles in this country. Unless we have a serious program to teach people how to recycle and the recycling companies and the waste collection companies like Sam Waste, etc. get the act together, we will talk, be talking about this topic for the next 10 bloody years. Fish bred in safer, cleaner environment. New floating farm, one of first in the world. You know, we are always one of the first in the world. Can you go and check how many there already are? If this can really work at 4 million, I think it's very good. 27 months jail for XGM of Ang Mo Kyo. You know, if this kind of thing can happen in the Prime Minister's ward, we have a big problem. I suggest that HDB should take over the running of all town councils. The members of parliament and even our prime minister do not have experience running town councils. So give it back to HDB who built the estates and make them run it. My wonderful friend and doctor, Carl Wajit Soin, wrote this article, It Matters That Men and Women Age Differently. And she made a suggestion that our drones, the policy makers, who suggested that women should pay more for their casual life should not be punished because they don't work and they are not paid. But they do a lot of work at home. They are the ones who bring up the family. So do not punish these women. Drones, are you listening? <laughs> This week, the plant I have chosen to feature is the turmeric with alphabet T. The turmeric is a fantastic plant. The leaves can be used for wrapping fish and baking it. It's got a fantastic smell. You deep fry it as in tempura and it tastes fabulous. What people usually eat is the ginger, this part of it. And it's usually bigger and yellow in colour. Turmeric, the yellow part, is used for cooking and it has plenty of medicinal properties. It is anti-inflammatory, it improves your brain function, lowers the risk of brain diseases, risk of heart disease, Alzheimer's, it helps against depression and it helps delay ageing. I eat turmeric a lot. That's why I never age. Thank you for watching another episode of Coffee and Whiskey with Ivy. Have a great week ahead, but before you start drinking and partying, remember to subscribe.